Hello oh, and welcome to my VR and Blender tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to take a Vroid 3D model, import it into Blender, to edit its face mesh for improved facial tracking and goofier expressions. This should be good for animation, streaming, and other Unity-based shenanigans. Let's get into it. Okay, let's go down all the programs we'll be using in this tutorial. They're all open source and free. First, we have Blender. I think I used version 4 point something, but as long as it supports the VRM add-on, it should work fine. This is an official add-on after all. And then we have Vroid Studio for making 3D anime characters a bit easier and more user-friendly. And finally, we have VC Face. It's for facial tracking. Okay, let's get started with the Vroid Studio. This is where you're going to edit your base VRM models. You can edit your facial features, body proportions. And when you're done, you're going to click on this corner icon for export. And once you do, you're going to end up on this screen. Now the trick is to uncheck Delete Transparent Meshes in this corner right here. And then click the blue export button. Now you're going to get this uh, pop-up. You can just check VRM 0.0, give it a title, give it a creator, scroll all the way down, and then click Export. And then save it to your desired location. Okay, open up a new Blender file. Go to Edit, Preferences at the bottom. And, the, and then on the search box, you type in VRM. This is going to come up. So check the box next to it. Okay, now you're going to get rid of the uh, default objects. So it doesn't mess if you're a VRM model. And then go to File, Import VRM. Once you click this, locate your VRM model, and then Import. So once your VRM is loaded into Blender, it's going to look something like this. It's going to be pretty messy. But anyways, once you click on the face mesh right here, this thing's going to highlight. Go to the inspector, scroll all the way down. And this armature is the corresponding face mesh you're going to be messing with. Go down here. And then in this sidebar right here, go all the way down to the green triangle. And this is going to pop up right here. You're not going to need that, but this shape key is going to be the thing we're going to be playing with. All right, as you can see from the extensive list of shape keys, Vroid Studio has included some pre-baked expressions for us. For example, if you slide the scale all the way to 1 right here, you see the face mesh transform you accordingly. Now, if you want to make some changes to the mesh himself, you have to slide it all the way to 1, go to Edit Mode, and then play with the uh, vertices right here. You can use Move, Rotate, or Scale as much as you want. For more natural looking transformations, you can go to Sculpt Mode, select Grab, Elastic Grab, click on a part of the face, and then move around to your liking, like so. And when you're done, you go back to Object Mode, and then turn the slider back to zero, so you know which shape key is being activated. And as you can see, our transformation is modified expression. We're going to need to make more custom shape keys for more accurate facial tracking. To do so, you click on this plus icon right here. It's going to generate a nice shape key for us to customize. Now, you might want to rename it whatever you want just for organization purposes. And you can just edit it like how we did before using sculpt mode after setting a value to 1. Now, let's go about actually making the uh, 52 AR kit blend shapes. Now, next to the compass right here, there's a small arrow key. Click on it, and it's going to bring this pop-up menu. Make sure the tab is on VRM. There are all these tags. Just click on VRM right here. Okay, now, you see all these uh, blend shape proxies already populated by Vroid standard facial expressions? You can leave them alone, but we're going to need 52 more if we want better tracking. Now, I just added another proxy key using the plus sign right here. Now, we have to name it with precise designations. For example, one of the 52 blend shape keys are named mouse right. we got to get the spelling right or it won't work. Now, we have to assign one of the shape keys that we made by pressing the plus icon right here. Go down a little bit, select our face mesh, the thing we've been editing, and then in the shape key, we go all the way down to our custom shape key we just created, like one of these guys. Now, for the sake of time, let me use my own model as an example. On the proxy blend shape list, you can see I've included all 52, from the eyes, the mouth, the jaw, all the way down to tongue out function. 
And in the shape key, I also added the corresponding deformations I wanted. Let's pick the tongue as an example. If I slide out this slider to one, uh, the tongue comes out. And here, for the proxy shape key, if I slide the preview to one, the same happens. Right, so to repeat, you add the new binding by using the plus icon, go down to the mesh, select the face mesh, and then the corresponding deformation you want as the uh, shape key. Then a couple of pointers. When you're assigning the neutral proxy blend shape, you want it to be assigned to a mouse shape that's a bit narrower, but not too narrow. I think it just reads a bit better. And then when you're assigning one of those 52 blend shapes, um, you can always recycle the pre-existing face shapes that b -Roy Studio has already included. And also, when you're editing your face meshes, try to use the symmetry function right here in the corner with the butterfly. If you go into options, you could always use top topology mirror. Also, when you want a uh, more subtler expression, you can modify the weight right here. This will change how much of the shape key will be expressed in the uh, proxy shape. Now, once you've all finished assigning the proxy blend shapes to those shape keys, you should be ready to export the VRM. Make sure, in, make sure you're in object mode and select the armature itself, go to file, export, and export as VRM. And then save with your appropriate name and at your desired location. And that should be it. Now, once you've exported your uh, VRM and then imported it into VC Phase, now all you need to do is select the avatar and then tweak some settings. Now, if you want to link your VC Phase to an iPhone, that's a whole other tutorial. Well, the, the short of it is you install an iPhone app called VTube Studio and then link it to VC Phase, which is also free. It's going to use your IP address, and you're going to tweak the firewall settings a bit. And hopefully it works. Well, that's about it for this tutorial. Like and subscribe for more good, fun, clean content.